Welcome back to Movie Reviews by Movie Lovers, and today is one she loves, and I've grown to love. It is Down Periscope! Woo! It is a five. I mean, we absolutely love this movie. I mean... And, and also, we will watch it multiple times, just because we love the comedy in this. And it has Kelsey Grammer in it. Side note to this, this is the only movie she will watch that has stupid comedy but because this is something that she grew up with. Yeah, my dad had me watch it a long time ago. And I don't know why it just stuck with me. I mean, I hadn't watched it for years, and then I saw it again. I was like, oh my god, this movie is hilarious. Well, we can have fun with this and say, you know, I, I had plugged in a movie when we were out doing something with our parents. We went on vacation. Yeah, and, um, and so I plugged in a movie, and it was a movie I liked, which was Follow the Bride. And that's when I grew up with my dad. And he he comes in because we're having yeah, dinner Yeah, my together. dad comes in. And he goes, can we turn that off? And I go, sure. Because, I mean, it doesn't matter to me. I can watch it over and over and it doesn't matter. Yeah, and, and then so, the next time that he comes in for our, when it was our turn to make dinner. Yeah, we we had plugged in down Periscope. He didn't say a word. <laughs> so we knew his preference. <laughs> but that was okay. We understood. But yeah, this movie is basically about a uh, submarine, a diesel submarine, that hadn't been in commission for a while. And they were trying something new. They were testing out to see if a diesel <laughs> submarine could um, beat a uh, nuclear submarine, I think. It's basically like a uh, pirate hunt. Basically, what they were doing was seeing if the nuclear submarine could find the diesel submarine and shoot it, pretend war games, shoot it out of the water before they were to hit their target. Well, the one general that was in control of everything was like, oh, you have to do it by this way, and it has to be this way, and all that. And the other guy who was in charge of the other people basically was just like, you do whatever you need to do. I mean, it's war games. Nobody plays fair. There, there might be rules of conduct, but do they really stick by it? But yeah, the guy who's being the pompous ass and changing the rules when he wasn't supposed to. Well, he didn't legally change the rules. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, he had a grudge against this guy. I mean, he'd never been captain of the sub before. He well, had the training. You kind of need to explain. He has something on him. That apparently they thought was careless. Yeah. He was drunk, and he got a tattoo in a place. Well, this isn't for kids. He got a tattoo on his dick. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, because of that, the rumor had spread, and that's the reason why he didn't become captain of but, the ship. Uh, it was coming to the end of his um, time where he was able to be a captain they're like we spent about like millions training this guy well basically one the the general who cares is saying this and so the other guy goes i don't really care about him but if he doesn't pass this he's out of here kind of thing yeah so and and um kelsey Gam grammar's um character is the captain who he basically becomes the captain of the diesel and he gets the worst crew ever and the funny part is, um, someone, his exo, was basically like, I'm afraid if we wash this, it'll fall apart because the bird shit is holding the sub together. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's funnier in the movie. Well, and then he also has one person, we won't say right away, that is trying to get out of it. He's been told he can't be, uh, basically kicked, at, he can't. Being part of the submarine crew is a volunteer basis. Right. He couldn't uh, voluntarily quit. He had to be let go by his commander. The problem is, is his commander wasn't going to let it fly. And so every single time he's doing the least he possibly can. And, um, and one of the scenes, I know one of the best scenes, is he's sitting on the top of the deck while everybody else is cleaning and basically, he's just sitting there relaxing in a chair, sunning himself. And the other guy's like, are you really going to do that? And he's like, yeah. And he's just like, I have 
I have no other option but to move you. Relocate you. Re- relocate you. And he goes, really? really? And then he, he tells another guy who just walked past with a bunch of stuff in his arm, going, hey. And he turns around, smacks him out of the chair, and relocates him, basically, in the tar. <laughs> He's like, thank you. <laughs> And walks away. I'm not sure if it was tar. I'm pretty sure it was like... Some... It was like black substance. Yeah, it was... Because tar would be really hard to get off. I was... I might have been black paint. But I don't... It could have been... Yeah, it was more probably black paint. But that's the funny part of it. And then, another favorite scene is when they're a dead silence. And while the cook has been eating beans, what do you think happens? They're an enclosed submarine in dead silence, and he farts. Oh, yeah, and it's not a silent fart. It is a fart. <laughs> and and the thing is, is it was smelly, too. So everybody's suffering as they're sitting in absolute silence, going, oh, my God, oh, my God, basically. But they can't say anything. So they're literally going, <laughs> So the comedy there is awesome. <laughs> oh, and then another scene is um, funny is when uh, one of the operators who's supposed to be like a radar c- guy, he knows things are going to happen before they happen kind of thing or he can hear really well. And he, he's like, yeah, I, I listen to orcas. You know, I listen to them and or, or whales. whales. And he's like, yeah, I, I know their calls. I study it kind of thing. And um, during one of the scenes, he's like, can you can you make the noise of it? And he's trying to gesture, and the guy doesn't get it. But then he's like, like, remember your tape. This is what I want you to do. And so he starts making that noise, and the guys in the other ship, the submarine, are basically like, we just came across the pod of whales. <laughs> and it works, because he did really well. Um, and, and that was a good scene. Oh, and then it's the electrician. The radio guy. <laughs> He's freaking awesome. There's been time, like, he, when he messes with things, he has no idea what he's doing. I don't even know how he became the electrician. I know, I But when he has one. to connect wires, he's using his own body for the connection. And then at one point, I hear him go, ooh, that tickled. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Oh, and then... But but the funniest part is when he thought he he wasn't touching any wires and he's he's got to put it on something and he's like, well, let's see what happens. And he flips it and it works. He's like, really? Oh, no, no. He grabs a uh, basically an oven mitt, remember? Oh, yeah. And he, he flips it with the oven mitt. And he's like, nothing happened? <laughs> like, I actually worked it out. <laughs> but. Oh, another favorite part. <clears throat> the mutiny against the EXO. Well, the, you know, the guy was an asshole. And finally, the captain basically was just like, you know what? I don't need you anymore. So they basically pretend to be pirates. <laughs> and um, they kick him off the ship. They make him walk a plank. Well, he doesn't realize what's going on. He thinks he's going to fall in the water. Well, he ends up being fall, fall onto another ship that they had paid off to take him away. And he's like, you're going to pay for this. And it's just like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> And, of course, the whole entire time, um, stupid things are happening. Apparently, one of his commanding officers is a woman. He didn't expect that. The dive officer. The dive officer. And he tests her limits, but, uh, the men try to play a prank on her the first time when she's on the boat. They take all her clothes and make them smaller. (laughs) And um, he's like, do I need to punish them? And she's just like, don't worry about it. <laughs> he still punishes them because they don't, they're, they had just finished getting the ship, the submarine ready to go out. And so they were going to go, okay, you can go out into town tonight and have a blast. Well, when the captain, the commander sees her, he goes, okay, who did this? No one comes forward. He goes, okay, everyone back on. No one's getting off. No one's getting any land privileges tonight. Mm-hmm. Everybody was disappointed. She's like, well, I can fight my own battles. And he's just like, I wouldn't be a captain if I didn't make these decisions. Um, but no, it's it's pretty awesome. And then, of course, the biggest spoiler of all. You know the guy that's been trying to get off the submarine? His father is the general that started the whole thing. The good guy, not the bad guy. And literally everybody looks and going, that's your dad? 
He's like, yeah. It's like, you, your name's not even the same. It's like, it's my mother's name. It's like, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> like when I found that out, I was like, are you serious? <laughs> but that was funny. I don't think we should give any more details away because. Oh no, experience it yourself. If you love comedy, this is the movie for you. Um, because it is, it's stupid funny. Stupid funny. I mean, the way it starts out, we won't even tell you that. And it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's enough for this one. I think so too. Should you say it or should I? Please like and subscribe. Click the bell so you get notifications that we are p posting stuff. And we will pretty much be doing that every single day. Even after we run out of the movies we've already done on yep. TikTok. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.